Well, here we go then. So this was um, what this run was. So yeah, we're supporting again. I think this was Beardy supporting, no? Yeah, let's roll it back. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, Beardy supporting, yeah. Let me change this up then. So I realise I should, what I should have done is transit the fight a bit better. Uh, but I took my chance yeah. with, uh, with opening it up this way. Putting that, um, putting the fight through your six o'clock straight away, particularly in um, in VR in DCS, doesn't doesn't work out really. That's the that's a big takeaway from today, I think. Would that have been a mic kill there? Probably not. It's uh, beaming at two miles. It, Beaming at two miles, probably yeah, speculative. Maybe I don't know. It's hard it, for, it, for real. By the time it takes off, DCS probably yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would have definitely been a dead uh, a kill for, for the engaged fighter though. Are you? Oh yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I thought that after I t called the Fox Two shot, I go, yeah, I just sacrificed my life to get one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your family may get a bonus, Juice, you know? Yeah, they only have, <laughs> they only have a few hundred thousand on me. I get a middle. So it might have been a little earlier. To, mind you, you're going belly up to me more or less straight away, so the come-off call there was probably um, was probably well-timed, to be honest. You're going to make that conversion. I probably would have waited until about here before issuing the come-off. Hmm. Just so that I know that I'm actually going to slot in and I'm not going to end up with a big overshoot. Yeah, nice call. Nice entry there. So good. Um, so you really recognize that you've got a lot of um, vertical separation. Collapse the range uh, accordingly to make that turn circle. Because um, what you're looking for, all you need is the right amount of turning room, whether it's vertical turning room or horizontal turning room. You've made that nice judgment there. I've come off. Uh, and that allows me then to go immediately into supporting. Uh, left. I made the same mistake that I criticised Raj for earlier and floated that turn. Juice is determined to kill me. Station. <laughs> Can't get his nose on though because he's bled all his energy. Oh Can't yeah. Can't get the lead. So I transited the fight there. And I'm going to set up going in the opposite direction and maintain tally and visual. Which probably isn't an optimal position because you see this transit here has led to me being um, with a bandit rolling out in my six o'clock at one mile, which is not really ideal. A better plan here probably would have been that said, um, ready to jump in there, but um, that yep. said, that only happened because the bandit reversed, which would have been almost a guaranteed uh, death sentence. Yeah, that's bandit. true. Yeah. yeah, that is true. If you projected the turn around to the right, you'd be driving out you know, yeah. deep in their six. It'd be good. So they are decent altitude offset, perhaps probably not quite enough, but I was fighting the jet a little bit there for energy. Um, setting up with Bandit now on my... So I'm, I'm driving to that position with the post at my 3-9 to nine line. I called in at this point because he's just called out. Called engaged, he called press. So that's a nice entry there. Good use of the vertical. Not quite so much vertical as I perhaps could have um, allowed myself. But again, you've got to fight the fight that you've got, I suppose. So Beardy's picked up the fact that he's co-rotating, so he's going to transit, pulling juice onto his nose with a bit of vertical room as well. So I'm trying to go under his belly so he can't get a shot, yeah. get visual yeah. to shoot me. And, and helps you maintain visual on your wingman too. Oh yeah, piece of piss to maintain it to see what's going on. Yeah. 
and I'm hoping getting that the... I can get all that energy back out too before yeah. you get rid of those round. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice position there. Just going to swap these over again. Yeah, 1.6 to 2 miles. Nice positioning. There's immediate turn queue, uh, turn entry queue there. I didn't robot. pick up that call. Was that? That was I've got. I heard I you see. I can see someone. I don't know who I'm who I'm looking at. Was what I was ah, right, got you. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I assumed. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty close there. We probably look like one aircraft at a certain angle. So he's going to wait another half rotation. You can see what I mean about that's a that's a nice picture there where you've got the post on your on your three o'clock. Yeah, you call terminate you just as I see my turn queue coming up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. So that was a uh, new jet. Uh, let's go.